All right, here's a clap for sync. Um, let's see, can we get a status? How's the YouTube premiere going? Discord stream. Okay, okay. Well, <clears throat> hello everyone, and welcome to the J50C second annual earnings call for the 2022 calendar year. I'm by myself this year as Mad Gaming and Master Sir 2 are busy. While this year was expected to have less content due to pipeline shifts and large projects, an unforeseen amount of academics hit the YouTube channel hard. Because of this, a majority of the projects done this year were back in endeavors, so this presentation aims to inform you about the work going on behind the scenes and once again provide you with reasons to not unsubscribe. Thank you again for showing up. First, I'll recap the happenings and progress of this year, then present you the plans of 2023, and finally, the meeting will be opened up to any questions in the comment section that I'll answer at that time. Okay. As just said, a lot of the year's progress has been behind the scenes, but one thing that has been visible is the shorts that have been made to advertise the full-length videos before the release. These shorts have continued to be made with the express purpose of suiting their medium instead of just being clips from full-length videos for padding. These videos are achieved by reviewing entertaining moments that could be used from the videos and making them into shorts after the full-length video has been edited. These are then created and posted in the days leading up to the video's posting. Production of shorts has also required the establishment of a new size standard for these videos and a uniform font for text that will be used in shorts and future full-length videos. For anyone wondering, the font is Franklin Gothic Medium and was a product of trial and error testing of over 100 different options. The shorts identification and editing process has now been fully integrated into the editing workflow. Throughout the year, shorts have been moderately successful, as expected, with three videos exceeding 100 views and one that surpassed our expectations with over 1,000. For full-length videos, only two videos were made. However, the first video, episode 9 of the Jitta SMP, spawned the good few shorts, including the one that exceeded 1,000 views, and the second video, episode 10 of the Jitta SMP, is widely regarded as a high quality, high quality video by those who gave feedback, so thank you for doing so if you did. Because of the feedback, future videos will be more like that faster paced style, with certain beats cut out for the sake of pacing. If you haven't watched it yet, I would recommend it. It's kind of good. <laughs> These videos also utilize the new thumbnail design from Photoshop instead of the kind of clunky TubeBuddy editor. Uh, yeah, as you can see over here, this is the old one. This is with the TubeBuddy editor over there. Uh, it's kind of strange. And then here is with the brand new Photoshop style, which looks a lot better. So overall, how is the channel doing? According to Social Blade, there has been a 12% increase in viewership in the last 30 days. Throughout the entire 22 calendar year, the channel has gained over 2,000 views from a variety of viewers around the world. And yeah, the according to the YouTube year in review, there was a 51 subscriber increase, though that has obviously fluctuated throughout the year. And yeah, it's no question that the channel is in much lower performance than last year but it is still alive and will be preserved through 2023 unless something dramatically bad happens. Something that did threaten the integrity of the channel was its first video strike. As you may know, we made a Try Not To Laugh video reacting to funny vines like half a decade ago, and this video has been removed on the grounds of child endangerment, which we did find to be valid after review as children in the video weren't being very safe. Uh, these unsafe activities include running around with sharp objects, catching Jenga towers with their face, and getting absolutely decked by a popcorn bag. Because this was the channel's first violation, it was granted a warning with no consequences. To prevent another strike like this on any of our other old videos, they were all reviewed for instances that could get them taken down. While a couple of videos were identified as possible to be taken down on the grounds of copyright, it has been deemed that any copyright issue could be resolved in the favor of the channel, granted that YouTube's system is working fairly. Active members of the community were made aware of the situation as it unfolded, so you can be too. Thank you for that, and we hope this issue will never arise again. While not very visible, a lot of projects were undertaken this year, with only effects behind the scenes. While it's fun to play Minecraft Manhunt, we found that the game would be unbearably laggy once the groups broke off after the initial confrontation, rapidly loading chunks. We even got to the point of recording the video early this year, but it was scrap because it was just way too laggy. And especially when <laughs> Mad Gaming got into the nether, 
he like couldn't move at all and fell into lava. Anyway, unfortunately due to this issue, we are scrapping the manhunt project and do not attempt uh do not plan to attempt it in the near future. One major back-end project that worked this year was creating an editing pipeline where instead of just me editing the videos, Mad Gaming and Master Sir 2 would be simultaneously working on the next two videos in a cascading rhythm that would have allowed two videos to be posted per month for the entire year. Getting the systems online and organizing the pattern took a good couple of months, but the operation was running relatively smoothly until Academic showed up and derailed the entire system. While the software is in place on each side now, it may be a while before the pipeline can be restarted. Another major project was instating marketing meetings for each video. Every time a new video was done being edited, a small team would convene to review the footage and brainstorm titles, thumbnail designs, tags, descriptions, and dates and times to upload the video in relation to the other ones. These sessions have been really insightful and also kind of fun. The 1000 view video this year is one of the marketing meetings crowning achieve achievements. The COD League Mobile... <laughs> The COD League Mobile Division MVP Awards were supposed to be held this year, but due to communication issues, it has also been postponed to 2023. This means, however, that you have the time to vote. Panzer Shrek is still winning, so if you want either Kisweem, WazDV, or Assassin to win the MVP title, it's still possible. There's also been some music work undertaken this year, but I'll save that information for a later slide. Another major, major project was the animation workflow. This year I've been working on creating a way to make higher quality animated videos, with movement and speech instead of just animatic frames through Adobe Animate. This has required me to create everything from scratch, like facial expressions and character models, and also learn a lot of new techniques like walk cycles, lip syncing, and smearing. I predict that once the first animation is done, it will be a lot easier to make new ones as the techniques will be established instead of building it from scratch. So look out for that if I get that done. Next, another major thing was the channel rebrand from JSOC Plays to J50C. This change was four years in the making, being announced in 2018 and has finally been done in 2022. I had to overcome some sentimentality about the name and comfortability over it being the same, but it is the best thing to do in the long run and excited for the new era of J50C. Another large change you might have noticed is that my mic quality is a lot better. This is because I've acquired some new computer hardware. Instead of using a headset mic, I'm now using a Blue Yeti, the standard for like all YouTube channels, as pictured in the image over here on the right. Yes, I have the teal one. It was the cheapest one. I also have a pop filter to soften, soften sharp noises like Popsicle. The computer is still partially broken, and I have the same hardware in that department, but you can expect it to get uh, sound better once I get that fixed. So now, here are the plans for the 2023 calendar year. Rewind. As you know, I did not do a rewind last year, instead electing to do an earnings call like this one this year. However, I rewatched some JSOC rewinds from years past and realized how much fun they were to watch and make. So we will be resuming JSOC rewind in 2023, but we want to know if you viewers want that too. So we will only resume rewind if this earnings call gets at least one comment requesting it to come back. So, you know please comment if you want that. As for this year, because there have been so few videos, I'm reluctant to make a rewind, but if this earning call gets two comments requesting a rewind for 2022, I will do it as well. Now this year has had very few videos, and while there will be more in 2023, we unfortunately do not expect to have numbers like 2021. Because of this, we will be shifting our content focus to have much more quality over quantity. Mostly out of necessity because there won't there will be much fewer uploads. But this means that you'll see less la wacky, low effort videos, videos I called random antics last year, pictured on the left. And you'll see more high quality videos with higher effort and production quality, like the ones on the right in 2023. This way, you won't be waiting for six months to get a 45 second clip of me running around a Minecraft lobby testing out a screen recorder. Instead, you'll wait six months for a fully edited video discussing changes to a new video game. Due to feedback from subscribers, we'll also be attempting to make our content more accessible to viewers from outside the video certain niche to reach a broader audience and make it easier to jump into one of these videos. Thanks for the feedback. Of course, there were a lot of projects that were planned in 2022 but never executed this year. In 2023, we continue to pursue all of these projects. Finishing the Season 1 of Jitta SMP is still our top content priority. 
COD League Mobile Division MVP awards will also come out next year, hopefully. Civilization VI is still a fun game that came out with a new DLC recently, I think is free, the, the leader pass. I'll try to work out a series if there's time, but this series would take a lot of time, so we'll see. The 2F2K documentary series is one that I'm still excited about making. Hopefully that will come in 2023, look out for that. As a teaser, here is the first image of the server revealed for the first time in three years down here. Wow. Finally, the Clumsy Guild animatic is still in the works. Right now I'm at a crossroads if it should be done with Adobe Animate or done with the still animatic style. Even though the animate workflow is being fleshed out right now, it might still be done in still frames to allow the animatic to be more artistic. Next, Discord is also a big part of the channel community. Because of that, the Discord server will be officially converted into a Discord community next year. This will allow a nicer server with more tools for engagement. Thank you to all the Discord server members who voted for this choice in the poll. After the 2021 music bot incidents, we have found Discord bot Rhythm to handle the music nowadays. No, we didn't. It was called Chip. Rhythm was the old one and is apparently coming out with some new music thing in 2023 as well. After reviewing what it is, we'll have a poll on deciding if that should be kept on the new server. We also continue to use BoxBot whenever it's online, but it's really not reliable, so we might have to look for a new engagement bot. It was like down for like a majority of the year this year. The XP system in the server will also be overhauled, moving to the new bot Polaris, which is a streamlined version of the old XP system hosted by Robotop. Speaking of Robotop, which is also our moderation bot, the bot will be shutting down eventually, so we are searching for a new moderation bot, as it is. There will be little time next year, so outside of these changes, there's nothing else planned for the Discord server. Attention in 2023 around the YouTube channel will have to be rationed, so if you do like more support for the Discord server, if you'd like that, please leave a comment, I do read it, and we will take that into account. If time permits, other gaming videos are still on the table. There are plenty of games, and I have plenty of video ideas with them. I just haven't recorded any of those yet. Keep an eye out for a suggestion uh, if you see anything. Finally, expect to see some more music-related videos next year. During 2022, I've been working on composing as well as playing, and I would like to share that stuff eventually. Some projects that I'm working on is the covers of Wintergarten songs, or Wintergarten. I forgot how to pronounce it already. Well, if you don't know what that is, they're the band that made the Marble Machine. Picture it over here. That's the Marble Machine. I'm also working on some original music. If I do post any original music, expect them to be better than Week in Gully. I also have some instrument covers, like the Friday Night Funkin' one I did in the past. I also have a Hamilton cover that I'm waiting to post. There's that too. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll now open this meeting to questions. If you have any, please put them in the comment section, and I or a member of Jitta will answer them. And that is it. Thank you for joining the 2023 calendar year earnings call for the J50C YouTube channel. Here's to 2022, and see you all in 2023. Thank you for joining.